This is a marsh fertility butterfly larval nest on Devil's Bit Scabious. This plant is growing on Butterfly Conservation in Ireland's Reserve, Lullybeg and County Kildare. And it's the 24th of August, 2021. And it was a really good year for marsh chilleries on the site. There were large numbers of adults flying in May and June. And now we're seeing their offspring. And these tiny, tiny caterpillars are, have spun a web over the leaf and they are feeding on the tasty upper layer of the leaf called mesophyll, the skin of the plant. And they look like tiny little brown maggots and, you know, quite inglorious. And they'll feed like this up to, say, September, even into October in some years. And then they'll go into a diapause stage where they stop feeding and they just rest for the entire winter. And they actually shrink in size. And to show you the miracle of adaptation, in spring, the caterpillars that emerge in spring are not brown, they're black. And they huddle together in, the, in this black mass to absorb the sun and heat up so they can digest their food in the cold, clear February sunlight. So you can see how beautifully adapted they are. And they'll feed up on scabious until late April, early May. Then they'll pupate. And after two to three weeks in the chrysalis, the chrysalis will hatch and the butterfly will be on the wing again from late May, probably till early July. Now they look very little, they look little other than just squiggly maggots here at the moment. But come June, late May, early June next year, there'll be beautiful butterflies. And I'm going to show you some footage I took of the marsh tillery butterfly earlier in the year. So you'll see how magnificent and perfect the adult butterfly can be. The marsh tillery is the only legally protected insect we have. It is protected under the 1992 EU Habitats Directive and the Irish government had to designate sites to protect the species from extinction. So it's a special butterfly, and here at Lullybeg Reserve, we are really privileged to have it, and we maintain the habitat to make sure this butterfly continues to thrive here. <laughs>